Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. I'll be creating this mini series to show you guys how to create various Christmas ornaments for use in your art, your various artworks. Now, um, at the end of the course, I'll be compiling these videos along with a few additional videos and it will be up for sale for you to purchase. Now my Patreon members will be getting that for free. In this first part of the series, I'll be showing you how to create a Christmas wreath or a wreath. I don't know how, that, how that's pronounced, but it's this thing right here or something like this. All right, so let's get started. Now for that, I'm gonna be using my circle tool. So select the circle tool here. Make sure that your plant layer type is selected. Make sure it's the only layer type that is selected. And I know I haven't used this layer type often, but now I'm gonna give it some love. So just left click and drag here. And let me zoom in and it doesn't look like much. So let's go into our properties panel here and I'm gonna change its color. So I'm gonna, it's a gradient. So I'm gonna select this one here and I'm going to change this to a green like so. And I'm gonna copy that same color code. So copy and I'm going to come to this one over here to the right and I'm going to paste it here. So let me just left click in any of these values to um, apply it to our circle here. And for this one, I'm going to make it a bit darker, like so. And let me actually come back to this one and just make it a bit lighter. All right, and I'm gonna click on close. Now, it's very skinny, so let's feed it with some food so it can be fat and plump. So I'm gonna scroll down here, and where it says sprouts, I'm going to, I'm going to change this value to a hundred. I think 100 is the maximum amount you can go. So I'm just gonna press enter there. And we can already see it's getting some life here. All right, but we can do more to this. Let me go up to my stem size here. I'm gonna increase this to three. Press enter. It's becoming something. So right here on the tangential velocity, I'm gonna change that to a two. And okay, so it's it's up there, but it's we can see that there are some dark spots here and we don't really want that. So let's mess around with the stem size. I'm gonna change this to two, maybe three, no, well, one. Do, do, do. I think I like this uh, this stringy look rather than the, the thicker one, but we could of course make it like this and then remove the, the dark spots, but I'm falling in love with this one here. So I'm gonna go to the splits here and I'm gonna change this to maybe seven uh, or maybe five. I really like the slim look. All right, so we'll work with this one here. And let me zoom out and voila, we have our wreath. Now, of course, you can get this in different styles or you can get different looks for this if you spend the time over here, you know, and just change the values to whatever you want or experiment a bit. I'm gonna increase the seed here, press enter to get a different look. And I'm loving this. Now, I'm not gonna stop here. I'm gonna make this a bit thicker, but for that, I'm actually going to put this in a group. And I'm going to duplicate that group. And the one underneath, I'm gonna move it over a bit. So I'm gonna move it over to the left or right. But in this case, I'm gonna move it over to the left a bit. And I'm going to open it up and just go back to the color and make these a bit darker. Just a tad bit darker, like so. And I'm gonna alter the random seed for this one so it doesn't look the same. Or at least, you know, it looks slightly different. So press enter and there we have it. Da -da -da -da. And I'm also going to alter the outer branches here by uh, dragging this thing here. Now this one moves it, right? And this one actually just rotates the, the arms like so. Uh, I think I'm liking that. All right, and there we have it. Now I can add a, a, a branch, that's what you call it. No, a bark, that brown, the stick part of, of, the, of the wreath. You know, we could just use another circle and make that brown and place it here and adjust it, but I think I like this. I am liking this one here. Uh, and we could make some adjustments, but 
uh, that's how you would go ahead and create your wreath now uh, I did one without the circle here let me show you a Christmas bush and this one I really really like so I saved it so if you keep going you can create something like this uh, this one will also be for sale um, at the end of the course so you can look out for that but uh, this is this is just me showing you what you are able to create uh, with the plant the plant layer type and this can also be animated right which is really really cool uh, we won't get into that in this video but it can be animated so that's it for this tutorial and i will see you in the next one yo come on here.